This is two in the pink, yeah. and this is one in the stink. Oh. Why are we friends? I don't know. It's like, I like nice hair, you like this. <laughs> Lime green and hot pink work so well together. I look at myself and I see beauty. I look beautiful. I mean, I, I see that for you. Hi, I'm... <coughs> oh, shit. Oh, sorry. Hi, I'm retired former on... No, um... Hi, I am life-size human person Katya. And I put the pal in high school principal, Trixie Mattel. And this is... Oh. It's the show where we talk about whatever we want. Because it's our show. And, and not, not yours. yours. <laughs> Dating. Romance factors into my life frequently and often. And usually between the hours of 3 and 6 a.m. It's 4 and 6. Around that time, the veil between this world and the next is thinnest. Basically, you can also fuck ghosts. <laughs> Freeze you up, it lowers your standards. That's what it is, yeah. I love dating because I love the whole ritual of it. I like the showering, the douching, I wear my $300 jeans. I love picking the restaurant. I love the drama of like, this could be the date. It, the inevitable disappointment. The inevitable and disappointment. It never works out. When two hours in, he makes fun of my accent and I leave. <laughs> it's like another chance to be somebody totally different. Because lying to people is like fundamental. For example, I was out with a guy and he was like, I don't really drink. And I was like, me neither. I've never yeah. drank. I don't drink. No. Do you drink? I don't. What do you wash down solid food with and you just say rain? Yeah, rain. My own perspiration from my upper lip. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> Before I was a legend, icon, and star, yeah. it was easier because people liked me for me. Yeah, and not just because you're like Sharon Stone. Yeah, now not because I'm like the Rodney Dangerfield of drag. Or, who was the one where he got in a car crash? Gilbert Gottfried. Yeah. No, who's the one who just has no skin on his face? Detox. <laughs> uh, let's say uh, the ideal man were to walk into your life, where would he take you on a date? Olive Garden. Oh, I, I don't. I love no, Olive I'm Garden. Sorry, I'm sorry. I don't. I would actually prefer on a first date not to go to a restaurant because the food gets cold. People start to stare because you're not wearing any underwear. I'm done with the drama. I'm over the drama. I'm over the bullshit. I'm, I'm not, not here to make friends. Yeah. <laughs> I don't drink because I'm an alcoholic and a drug addict, and that just sets the stage. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Am I right, ladies? You know, relatable. <laughs> the first date, the second date, the, that's the person at their best. So I like to just go way below that. I used to go on dates as like a diet version of myself. Okay. Like I would try to be a little more normal, but now I just go in full blown, full tilt yeah. psycho. What are some deal breakers for you? Smoking. Only because I'm not a smoker. It's disgusting. Well, when you yeah. don't smoke, it's yeah, a Yeah, it's a deal breaker, absolutely. Yeah. I would prefer you not do something illegal because I don't want to get in trouble. Yeah, Like fair. I watched Breaking Bad and now I could never date a drug dealer. Or like a mafioso. Yeah. I don't have a type. A living or dead. Listen, I've I've seen ghosts and I'm into it. <laughs> I, I am the Odame Brown of the dating world. You know. I am the Odame Brown of drag. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm here to show people I still got it. <laughs> <laughs> the only type I'm not like super attracted to, but I'm open, is people li who look like me. Thin, blonde, like I don't I like pale, pale, sinewy, vascular, smelly, yeah, textured. Bumpy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Patches of thick, coarse, velcro-y yeah. hair, like Sagged. on the obliques. <laughs> yeah. A big ass is great. I love a big ass. Yeah. A big, big, huge ass. And if you'll pay for my Uber. Work with me. I'm just distracted. By the brain coral that lives on your head now. Oh, brain coral. You know what you look like? You look like somebody's really chic poodle. Oh. That got stuffed. Taxidermied. Mm. Mm. I'm just a small, fancy dog woman looking to get stuffed. <laughs> Oh God. Do you believe in people paying or not paying based on their sexual position? It's like, what? I have a friend who's like, I'm a bottom, so I never pay. And I was like, you're also never gonna get fucked then because. <gasps> Financial and sexual tops. Cause I like to feel like I'm paying, but then sometimes I like to feel like somebody else is paying. I, mean, I would hate it to go one way either way. If one person pays, then it's kind of like, well, you'll get it next time. It's like, girl, maybe there's not next time. <laughs> I've had guys in the past who obviously I <laughs> want this poodle fantasy all day long. I could never. Bitch, I've had times where I can't even be physical with someone because I still have nail polish on. They insist on uh, taking me out to a dinner. They're fully aware that I don't pass as a woman and no, people are going to look and they're comfortable with that. And they want you to be in drag? Yes. 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 They want to go to Davio's uh, in downtown and like, yeah, like a fancy They want to go to like Texas Roadhouse <laughs> with you in a cigarette hair clip. like. <laughs> I have, I mean, this is, you know, this is more casual, but I have some nice evening wear. This is casual. What would you wear on a first date? Well, it depends on where you're going. Well, most of my dates are at a meatpacking class. <laughs> I like to go to the library. 
I try not to drink too much on a first date because I find that it, it affects my perception of the date as a whole. Mm. And the next day I'm like, I met the one! And then I go on a date with them again. I'm like, is this the fucking pig I sat with for <laughs> yeah. three hours? If you don't drink, it's tricky because then they feel like they can't drink. But on the other hand, if they do get a little drunk, then I get to sleep with you them. you can move in, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, then I get into their credit score and then I can really make some magic happen. One time I was out with a guy and ended up at the bar on his lap, straddling and making out with him in front of straight people in front of God on a Tuesday. <laughs> And the next day I was like, I fucking met my fucking husband. I've been on dates where... Their I, wig fell they, off? <laughs> <laughs> no, that they went from like an eight to like a two. Do you go in for the kiss at the end of the first date? I, well, the last date I went on was just so long ago. Yeah, when did your dad die? <laughs>